Data has become a hot career choice for many people. It's been referred to as the new oil or the new gold, and lots of other synonyms for wealth and opportunity. But it can be confusing to understand how to take advantage of what seems to be a whole new world of opportunity and where to start. In this video, I want to introduce you to some of my thoughts on the world of data, an area that I've been working in for a long time and have developed and taught many courses on throughout my career. First, it's important to understand that almost everybody uses data and more people will be using it more directly as part of their jobs in the future. If you work in areas such as finance, real estate, or any other fields, you're probably already familiar with how reliant your job is on spreadsheets and other forms of working with data. In the same way that many jobs use reports and spreadsheets today, you can expect more people to use data-driven tools both in the office and on mobile devices in the future. But what about the role of those that take care of, prepare, and use data to support those end users? Even before you look at a career in any aspect of data, you need to have computer skills. I assume that anyone looking for a career in data knows about file management, standard productivity apps like different spreadsheets, and the way computers work in general. When people ask me about data careers specifically, there are four basic areas that I like to divide those data careers into. Let's look at the four data career paths, each of which tends to build on the skills of the ones before it. First, we have those that take care of the data at its core, the database administrators. This role was traditionally for those that would ensure proper and efficient functioning of database systems, which supported computer applications, mostly transactional database systems that used relational databases, such as SQL Server, Oracle, MySQL, and many others. But the DBA's role has expanded to include much, much more. They often are in charge of taking care of data across the entire organization, no matter the source or the format of that data. The DBA is responsible for the very foundation of data in an organization. The ability to understand the structure and management of that data is important to any career path in data. A second type of career in data are those professionals that use data from various sources and combine them to allow for data-driven decision-making and reporting. These are the business intelligence and reporting professionals, an area that works most often with descriptive and diagnostic data. They make sure that data is connected to a business strategy, the processes of the business, and the need to use data in an effective manner to make decisions that support the business. By bringing data together and building reports and dashboards and presenting the data, this group makes data actionable in a way that helps organizations make better data-driven decisions. A third area in data careers is that of the data analyst. This is a role that looks at data from the perspective of using data for predictive purposes and identification of patterns within the data. Often, these analysts have an area of domain expertise. For example, they have financial expertise, supply chain expertise, or customer service expertise, any of the areas within an organization that they can then use their expertise, combine it with their data skills, and provide insight. The data analyst will often use skills around statistics, programming, and business development to understand what the data can show us and explore the data's value to an organization. A fourth area that I see in data careers is that of an artificial intelligence professional, which often involves machine learning and process automation through data. In this role, we're looking at prescriptive and cognitive data use, using data to make decisions based upon well-defined processes or patterns that we've learned through training the data through things like machine learning and then automating these procedures whenever possible. Of course, these aren't the only roles when it comes to careers in data. There are other roles that sometimes cover the entire spectrum of data careers. For example, a data scientist who might work to improve how data is used in any of these areas. Or a data steward that might be responsible for planning on how data is going to be used across the entire organization at all levels, from users to the most advanced use cases. Of course, this is just my own opinion on how data careers can be divided up so that you can manage your own career and think about your own skills, what your interests are, and where you want to bring your data career. 
The biggest caution I often give to students is to think about how one area might be dependent on another area. For example, you'll need business knowledge or you'll need statistics knowledge or programming knowledge or algorithm design knowledge. So make sure that you're thinking about a career that's both approachable and that you can build upon in the future. It would always be nice to jump right into an advanced area using data, but sometimes you have to develop some other foundational skills first. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Are you thinking about a career in data? And where do you see yourself in a data career? Where are you today? Where do you want to be? Comment down below and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.